I'm John Brigida. I'm the president and founder of Frosty Tech. Our tagline for Frosty Tech is that we are a custom engineering and eco innovation group. And what differs us from a other engineering groups or manufacturers is that we really focus on ways to execute and create new technologies and IP around a problem. And then we partner with manufacturers to commercialize it. So it allows us to be able to have an incredible scaling ability without having a lot of the headaches or overhead you have if we were to scale it up ourselves. It also allows us to attack a lot of different multiple verticals and technologies, a lot of times pulling synergies from one to the other. So the breadth of things we're doing is tremendous. And you put an obstacle in front of us, you frame up the problem, and we'll find a way to get it done. I'm involved in all aspects of the business, and I focus on leading our R&D with partners and manufacturers to develop and commercialize products. My passion is identifying and tackling cooling problems and finding unique, meaningful, and cost-effective solutions. Before founding Frosty Tech, I was finishing up my MBA. I come from a family of inventors. My great-grandfather invented the very first car locks with a Model T Ford, and he also invented the women's bobby pin hair clip. Growing up, I heard the stories about my great-grandfather inventing the car lock and the bobby pin, but he never commercialized those. I actually, in my office, have his two patents hanging up as a reminder of that. And so he, even though he had these patents, he never commercialized them. So I always thought growing up, it'd be awesome if I had ideas or concepts to actually be able to create them, commercialize them, and really create a team and a platform to be able to do that. So I started Frosty Tech as I was finishing my MBA. I really had the initial idea for it actually during a law class and had seen where a heating element was super powerful. And I've been doing research, realized there's not really an effective way you can create cooling. There's lots of ways you can make things hot, not a lot of ways you can make things cold. That was the initial spark for Frosty Tech and then was able to actually go and enter a big idea contest and use the funding from that to file our first patent. I'm most proud of really two things. The first is the company we've built and the whole journey that's taken us to get here and really what it's become and really where we're going from here. This is just the beginning. The other piece and example of something we're also very proud of is being able to take what seemed like insurmountable roadblocks to people and be able to take a step back, look at first principles, and then be able to come back and really unlock that. So one example is we're working with one of our manufacturing partners who had developed a product that's going to commercialization and they realized that the product was too costly. It just wasn't gonna work in the market. So we went back when something that usually takes months within a 10 day time frame, using first principles and really taking and breaking down every single element we were developing. We created a totally new product. It was only 25% of the cost, it had a better duration, and now actually went from us being much more cost of the competitors to actually being the price leader. That then allow us to actually close the business with our manufacturer, and now that's gonna become the industry standard. We've assembled a really awesome core team that has individually really phenomenal skills and capabilities, but all those mesh together really well and are complementary. So we have it where we each respect the different skill sets that each team member brings to the table. We also collaborate in great ways to really unlock what's the best solution for something, what is really the, the best design or idea or iterative process at the end. We see that anywhere from our chemical engineering to mechanical engineering to visual design strategy. It's very much a team collaborative process. Uh, we're all very competitive, so being able to kind of push towards that, push towards our goals, uh, be very resilient, and that uh, we love working together, we love the environments we work in, we're excited about the work we do, we're just getting started. My hobbies and passions outside of work are broad ranging. I love being active, love being competitive. I play ultimate frisbee, football, love doing games, just being active, spending time with friends and family. It's awesome. The thing I'm most blessed by and proud of in my life is my family. They really support me and enable me to be able to do what I do. Um, so thankful for my wife, my son, my daughter the way just in a few weeks. Um, I really just am so blessed by them and what they mean to me, how they helped me to become a better man, a better father, and uh, I couldn't do what I do without them. So 
So I have a lot of favorite books, but I wanted to focus in on one that I thought really captured a lot of things they're very interested in. And so the book I'm gonna talk about is actually Freakonomics. I love how it looks at things through a really different lens and seeing the world in ways that people don't see and kind of uncovering how things connect together, patterns and things that really unlock how things work. And I think that's a lot of what we do is in those same kind of vein and principles. Uh, so I really enjoy that. My favorite movies are Iron Man's one, two, and three. I basically want to be Tony Stark and have his lab space. So, you know, that's what we're going for. Incredible, intelligent, self-learner, everything. <laughs> I mean, he's just, he can do everything. He's really talented, uh, off the charts talented. John is a terrific leader, uh, great business person, and uh, love working with him. John Bergita is creative, goofy, and kind-hearted. John is our fearless leader. He has boundless energy, um, boundless optimism, and he's, he's a fantastic boss. I know I'm always gonna have a positive interaction with him. Unique, genius, competitive. John doesn't just think outside of the box, he thinks outside the outside of that box. When he wants something and he wants to achieve something and everything that he needs to have isn't there, he makes it happen. That's what John does. That's what's so amazing with him. He, he'll have an idea, he'll see it. I don't know how he does it. He has an amazing ability to absorb technology and make connections and synthesize it down to a way that it can be put into practical use. He's humble, he doesn't, he's not prideful, he's not boastful. He should be, but he's not. And that makes him just a guy you want to work with. So John is smart, capable, innovative, and grounded guy. Good person to run the company.